release that he can't get to. Keep me from the Yo, what's going on guys? Playing some morning show 17. As you guys know, it's Monday. It's team of the week predictions day, but there's no team of the week this week. You know why? Because there's a lovely team of the year. So instead of doing team of the week predictions, technically it's still team of the week. We can call it like the team of the week year or something. If you know you're into that kind of thing, team of the week year. We got last week's team of the week up though. You know, the Malkin, the O'Reilly, the Wheeler, the Buffalo and the Headman. Uh, you know what? That was a pretty good prediction week last week. And I know you guys don't care. You're like, you're like get to the team of the year. So I'm just going to, you know, quickly go through that real quick. One thing I want to say, actually a couple things I want to say. One thing is it's pretty set in stone on who's getting community team of the year. They said the first nine forwards in the NHL vote getters get a team of the year. And then three AHL, silver, or whatever you want to call them, anything minor leagues. And then the same with defense is four and two. Goalies are one and one. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to predict overall since we can't really predict the players because they're already there. But one thing I'd like to say is, I, I don't know how to put this, but first of all, LA and Dallas fans, I'm talking to you. W where were you guys at? Did you guys take a nap or did you forget NHL was on? Did you, did you lose your phone? Did the site not work for you? Was you having a bad hair day? One too many pucks to the head? I, I don't know. My point is, the two best players, the two players that have had the best season this year, did not get voted in to community team of the year that were eligible. There's only the only people eligible were ones that had team of the year, did not have a team of the week yet. But two of them that did not get a team of the week that were eligible: Jeff Carter, Jamie Ben, arguably the best two out there to choose from. Neither of them got voted in. And I get it; it's like I get it; it's a community team of the year thing. So the community can vote for whoever they want in. But man, that that's a tough one to swallow if you're an LA or Dallas fan not to get those two players in when they put up the best offensive production out of all these guys on the list and neither one of them made it but you know anyway obviously the most highest vote getter was I, I, austin matthews it's a little unfair because they didn't have warensky in the game or he would probably stole like 2,000 votes for forward and defense but austin matthews you know <laughs> 3,059 votes currently he's an 89 overall i'm predicting a 94 overall i think most votes they do a plus three to plus five typically for team of the year. And I'm saying you got the most votes. They got to give the guy a plus five, right? That's going to give him a 94 overall with like a 94 skate and shot and 96 hands, 97 hands if you learn how to count, 91 checking if you're into that kind of thing. And we might as well predict synergies too. You know what? I realized that it's not going to happen. There's no predict. All right, not going to happen. We're just going to cut that part out. No, no synergy predictions. That's a tough one. I'm just going to say I'm predicting five synergies though per card. That's my prediction. What synergies they get, I don't know, but I'm saying five synergies. I'm thinking plus two. Maybe the first line gets plus two on everything. Second line plus one. I don't know. They gave the Magic Man five everything, but he's a 99 overall, so that's a little bit different. But yeah, it's hard to believe going down this list. No Jeff Carter, no Jamie Benn, but then we get a guy that played like three and a half games this year. I'm sure he played more than that, and I'm sure he's not up on the Movember list right now because, you know, why would he be? There are no Movembers up. Where are they all at? Stamkos, I'm looking for you. Where you at, buddy? All right, so I guess he's not here. Dude, I, I'm not even going to pretend I know what his special card is. I, I don't have the slightest clue. Is it a moment milestone? There's his base. There's his S2. Stamkos, where you at? Dear Stamkos, where are you? I can't find you. You're not on the market. Damn it, Stam. I mean, dang it, Stamkos. That's what happens when you don't have a play all year. All right, so he's got a 92 overall right now, right? 795 votes. We're going to give him a plus five. It's going to give him a 97. And that's going to give him like a 98 skate and like a 99 shot. So a similar card to last year. Pretty disgusting looking. And then finally, the last guy on the first line, and I think best NHL clip said it best. The Vancouver fans are very outspoken. Nothing wrong with that, though. That's fantastic. The more outspoken, the more you can get people into hockey, you know, the better. But here we are. Bo Horvat got 759 votes. He's currently an 86 overall. We're going to give him a 91 overall. <sighs> so if you guys haven't noticed yet, besides I'm a little tired, that there's going to be a common feature here. Every single one of these have Movembers. And what's funny is I'm going to tell you guys this. and Just, you know, take notes on it. Wayne Simmons, 723 votes, 89 overall. We're going to give him a 93 overall, I think. That's not the note you should be taking. That's just me, you know, telling you what the overall prediction is going to be. But... I'll look at Wayne Simmons, 100K. That's not a bad price. Not a bad price for 93 overall. But is he going to be 100, 100K? I doubt it. 170. They, they want 175 for him. A 93 overall, 175. That's cutting hairs in my opinion. 
And I think that's where people are mistaken right here. They're all voting for their Movembers. Hey, by all means, vote for your Movembers. Go ahead. But a lot of these guys ain't going anywhere. Your Movember might more than likely won't go up. A lot of these guys ain't going anywhere. There are some. There might be an exception or two. But a lot of these guys are crazy overpriced already. And the odds of them going up a lot more, just I can't see it. You know who could be one that does go up a little bit if he hasn't already skyrocketed? And that would be good old New Jersey Devil, Taylor Hall. He's up to 260k. He's not terribly priced. He was 240. He was like 220. Oh, there's one for 350. But the thing with Taylor Hall is, first of all, I think he gets a 94 overall, 680 votes, six highest vote getter. But the thing with Taylor Hall is he's always got a sick card. He's gonna have a 96 skate and shot. People like Taylor Hall. And if he had them good synergies, that's the thing too. Where you're over here, you're not even. That's what's funny. You're like, oh my guy got a team of the year, right? And it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> uh, is if you're investing in Movember. If you're invest, I should say that too. I always talk investing Movember. I don't talk keeping. I know some guys just want their Movember to get an upgrade and they keep them and they use them all year. But I'm talking. I guess I'm talking to directly to the people investing in Movembers. If you're Movember. You're buying this Movember saying, oh, he's going to get a, you know, team of the year. Or what, da, 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 da. The thing is, you're gambling on synergies. If he comes out with Evgeny Kuznetsov synergies, you know, Dirty Dangler, Power Play, and Tape the Tape, or whatever PP stands for, I, you think I know by now, but I don't. That's not a good card. That's not something people are going to desire wanting. If they, have, you know, if they don't have any good team synergies, people aren't going to buy them. That's going to kill the price. Even a 93 overall for 160K. If he has new synergies, you're talking hero price of like 100 to 120K. You know, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, Evgeny Kuznetsov, I think Kuzi sees that 93 overall. I already mentioned it. 625 votes. You know, a good video productionist would have put all the forwards first or last because I know people want to see those the most. But yeah, we're, we're not doing that. We're doing dessert first. Life's short, right? Leon Dreisaitl. 606 votes 89 overall he's gonna hit that third line i think maybe only a 92 i think he's in a lower line not as big like i said plus three to plus five i'm just kind of i have this real complex formula for how i'm predicting these overalls as far as forwards go it's if you, i don't know if you can keep up with it or not but see here here it's real tough first line plus five second line plus four third line plus three times four x squared minus b plus 19 triangle november squared divided by two and then that's how i get the overall 93 overall 92 overall see I, i'm already confused 92 overall dry side all right this video is going to be really long and you guys are not going to want to last this whole entire video you're going to be like screw this guy i done clicked off three years ago but since you're still talking i'm, I'm not there listening but you know movembers right blake wheeler is he here he's got a november he sure does have a Movember. he's a 91 overall i like blake wheeler i'm a big blake wheeler fan you know that 194k Unfortunately, he's on that third line though, and he might only see a 94 overall hero status card, but still at 100 and you know 90k, it's not a terrible, terrible buy. But I, you know what, my tip is here's my tip to you: this isn't unprecedented. I was gonna say it's unprecedented, but it isn't. But it is. It is unprecedented because we never had synergy. Synergies have such a big impact on cards this year. My tip to you would be with these members: is I know you don't want to. I'd tell you to wait until team of the year comes out not to buy any of these you're gonna have to fold your hand in on these personally but i'd wait and see how the movembers get affected by team of the year because like i said it's never been we've never seen how synergies affect it and the thing is also all these heroes are out there that are like 94 overalls already that's a big deal considering you get a 94 for under 100k how that'll affect the team of the years as well so that's very interesting i think to see how that's going to work out but we got henrik zetterberg you know three years later of ranting henrik zetterberg 500 votes, 89 overall. We're going to give him a 92. And yes, I'm going to complain about it again. Jamie Ban finished right below Zetterberg. I'm not very happy about that. I, I don't even know why. I'm, I care less. You guys can vote if you want. You know, community team of the year, not my choice, your choice. Well, it is my choice. I voted, but not a Dallas fan. Oh, when the ice hogs come marching in, they come marching in for Brian Bickle. And apparently he don't have a Movember. How did you not know that, dude? Like, come on, dude. AHL November. Let's get, let's be honest here. Brian Bickle, 85 overall, leading vote getter. I think he sees a plus five. That gives him a 90 overall. That gives him an 89 skate, 90 shot. Yes, I had to think about that for a second. I don't know what's going on. I'm just blowing it out there. You know, he's got really fast as a synergy right now, RF. So we'll see what he gets to the next one. It's heating up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Stockton? 
Where you at, Mason? Right there. Mason Raymond. He's only 445k right now. Not not bad. I don't know if people think that Silver is going to get an upgrade. <laughs> Mason Raymond, 1,764 votes. I think he goes up to an 87 overall. A wise man once told me that if your team's doing bad, you, just, you should start rolling for Nolan. There he is, right there. 86. He's going to have a disgusting card. He's already got a 92 on the skate. We're going to give him a plus three, give him an 89 overall. He could get more, though, because he is a bronzer, not a silver, but I'm going by votes, going by plus three. He's got some six synergies already on that all-star game card, but we'll give him a plus three, give him that 89 overall. Still a very playable card. That moves us on to defense, and we're back to the regular filter of Movembers because that seems to be the preference of players. What are the odds that I can search and click on Movembers in Florida and find Aaron Ekblad? What do you think the chances are? Yeah, you're right. Pretty good chances. 88 overall. 2,688 votes, right? Yep. We're going to give him a plus five. We're going to give him a plus five. 93 overall. Man, I can only imagine how many dislikes a vid like this gets because I don't shut up instead of just going through the players real quick. Next in line, PK Subban. Another guy that didn't play for half the season and is on the list. I think he played a little, more, a little bit more than half. I don't know. He's been getting good to lately hot, so I'll give him credit. 2,468 votes. We're going to give him a plus. We're going to give him a plus five. 95 overall PK Subban. You can't go wrong with that, can you? Yeah, you can at 300 coins, but still 95 overall PK Subban. He could, that could be one that goes up a little bit. That's, that's always an option. And we're going to cruise on over to Chris Letang. 333k, 1,435 votes. We're going to give him a plus four. 96 overall Chris Letang. How can that only be 300 coins? Maybe 300 coins. It's not, it's 300k, but I could see Chris Letang. We're just going to go side sidekick here on Movember investing, I guess, mid-video. 300k Movember to Tang? I, I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. That, that floats my boat a little bit, to be honest. I might come back and buy that. Remind me later. Don't take that 300k one. I might want it. Um, And finally, finally, we're going to the Winnipeg Jets. And we're going to go out there and get Tyler Myers. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Don't get excited. No Tyler Myers. Dustin Bufflin. 250k right now he's already a 91 overall as well he could get a 95 overall dustin bufflin could have a nice card we're going back over to the ice hogs apparently they're their team to beat over there in the ahl because they're just raking in the team of the years okay maybe not you know what one of these days dude you're gonna learn that these ahl guys don't have movembers quit searching for them like come on dude is it your first day i don't think so first day who are we looking for? This guy right here, Polka. I probably ain't saying his name right, but that's all right. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. 3,450 votes. Impressive. Impressive. We're going to give him a 86. You know what? No. Change your plans. 87. We're going to give him an 87 overall. Nice card for Polka. Don't do this to me, Olet. Don't do this to me. Yeah, he did it to me. There's no Olet up. There's no Xavier Olet up. He's an 81 overall, though, and we're going to give him an 85. All right, just a be a little bit spicy we're gonna go with the ahl backup goalie for no we're not we're not gonna go with the ahl backup goalie first because he's not up so we're just gonna try and pretend we'll find him in the national league not the american league i guess he doesn't play for the american league anymore i know this ain't a baseball game but if it was he'd be in the american league goalies come on hiller come on hiller come on hiller come on hiller there he is there she is jonas hiller founder found him sorry he has an 89 overall halloween card though I ain't mistaken. So, that being said, we're going to give him a 92 overall. We're going to give him a 92 overall. And then finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. The end of this video. I mean, um, the goalie. The goalie. The goalie. The goalie. The goalie. He's got a Movember. He plays goalie. We're not even going to filter his team because we've got to build up the suspense. He is not that one. Nope, nope, nope. Negative. No, no uh, uh uh Versus the third. What? There he is. Found him. Tuka Rask. 200K. Would I pay that much for him? Heck no. That's way overpriced. But look at those synergies. If he has synergies like that on his team of the year, pff, everybody pay that much. That's what's funny about a goal. If this goalie comes out with like four synergies, team, team will synergies, you're talking a lot of coins. But that doesn't help his Movember. <laughs> but his Movember does have solid synergies. So those are the community team of the years. Uh, if you made it this long in the video, I love you. If you didn't, I completely understand. But I'd like to hear what you guys think. Did you think the Community Team of the Year should have been a little bit more, um, shall we say, deserving of players? Or do you think the Community Team of the Year was perfect? Because, you know, the Community Team of the Year, community votes, makes sense. That's why I wasn't complaining too much about it. Other than that, guys, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.